Page. I'm Dave Michaels, and today we have very special guests that I've been wanting to get on the show for quite some time. Finally got you guys on here. I'm really happy about it. And uh, it's my first time I have female guests, and we have two female guests today. I decided to um, just up the female <laughs> empowerment for, for this episode. And uh, so we have Roxy and Priya, two oh, <laughs> very, very talented cosplayers that I've known for quite a few years now. A couple, a couple. So, uh, yeah, and uh, very happy to have you guys on here. Thank you for having us. I'm glad we finally found a day that worked. <laughs> exactly. We got the three of us together, the schedule's all synced, and we're good to go. So, uh, we've got quite a few. I usually like to do sort of hot topics, but uh, I think today I'll kind of mix it up a little bit, and we'll talk a little bit about you guys and how you sort of came to be your secret origin, <laughs> as, <laughs> as I like to say, <laughs> yeah. Um, so you guys are our cosplayers. That's right. And artists and fans of all this stuff. And uh, how long have you been cosplaying? Uh, I'd say half decent cosplays for about three years. Right, right. Bad cosplays for much longer than and what's, that. And what's considered a bad cosplay? Um, you know when you go to like a Halloween store and you sure. pick out a cheap wig oh, and you okay. don't really know what a good wig is supposed to look like. Right, right, right. And then right, you have right. grease paint that isn't really sticking to your face. Right, that's, right. That's what yeah. I consider. <laughs> and it's all blotchy and it's it's not really and working. It looks, looks good and from afar. Yeah. Very yeah. blurry, possibly yeah. in the fog from the back. And like then you turn around and you go, no. Right. We're definitely closer to achieving our final forms now. Yes. Right, right. Well, when I first, I think my first time I ever met you, Roxy, um, you were Bombshell Harley Quinn. That's right. That's actually my first cosplay. So that's right. what. What Comic Con was that? Uh, 2012? 2012. Already? Like okay. I think so. Right. That was my first time cosplaying. I know you, you were there too, Priya. Yes. But... That was Bombshell Ivy. Right. Yes. I don't know what happened. I didn't meet you that that year. <laughs> it was it was a bit all over the place. Like right, right, right. It'll always be a sad chapter where we didn't get our yearly photo that year. Right. We have we have a photo. Yeah. No, that's it. We have photos together. It's but the not next with year. You. Yeah. It's the next year. Yes. And, this year. Uh, but you were also, I think, were you binary Captain Marvel? That was the next year. That was the next that year. That was the next year. Right. Yes. But like she actually introduced me to cosplay. I was a very, you know, heavy Halloween aficionado. Right. And then I was enjoying <laughs> comics, but never really, like, act properly dressed up. Right. Being a small town girl, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, it was my first time, you know, really dipping my toes, and it was with her, the 2012. Right, right. And you guys really, really got into it and started doing the tandem stuff. Oh, yes. yeah. Which is awesome. You know, I think... The duos. <laughs> most people need to sort of, when they're starting out, meet people that are doing the same mm -hmm. absolutely doing the same thing and sort of uh yeah that's really important that you you meet the right people and the community is awesome yes I it, it does help if you have to take public transportation to conventions <laughs> right <laughs> to not be alone when you're in full body paint yeah exactly especially if you're just starting out yeah it can be a bit of intimidating yeah <laughs> and you guys sort of started um like modeling at the same time, like doing the cosplay pictorials and the sort of the uh, photo shoots and stuff yeah. like that. And there's there's guys at the convention that are doing that, right? And you guys got involved with that. Too. Yeah, I actually met a friend of mine at um, the convention because he tagged me in a photo that he'd taken of me. And then he right. asked if I wanted to do a shoot with him. Right. And we've been shooting for years together now. It's awesome. Right. right. And uh, the preparation for that, is that any different than when you're going to, going to like, the conventions? Or? For those, for those specific photo shoots? Yeah, maybe? yeah. Or is it, it's usually at a convention, though, too, right? Uh, for, for the yeah. cosplay stuff, yes. But, like, for, for like, it's right. mostly her doing the modeling, though. Right, right. 
Right. But you guys have done some, like, two-person shoots. Yeah, absolutely. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, how was that? Like, how did you start? Like, how was that? Um, what do you want to say here? <laughs> um, how was that sort of improved your... Do you think... Do you do the cosplays in... The, the ideas for the cosplays, is that sort of... Um, you you do it in preparation for the shoots as well. Or oh, like, okay, okay. What I, what I'm trying to say, Dave, get it get it together here. Um, <laughs> does your preparation for your cosplays is it sort of like do you need to get the what am I trying to say here? Like as if as like the photo shoot is like the end goal. Yeah, more exactly. Than the exactly, exactly. Is that sort of like the most important? Uh, well, it's kind of like one of like, those like, things. Like, where is it's that like, where you you really you really something. cosplaying for the photo shoot, or is it like more for? I, the, I'd say it's a little both. A little well, both. for me, I'd say no because okay. it's like it's always nice if you manage to yeah. schedule a shoot at the same day as the con just right. because everyone's dressed up so yeah. you don't need to like i mean i've done cosplay photo shoots in the middle of winter and you definitely get a lot more looks than you do <laughs> oh, at a convention yeah. yeah for sure um but no like i i do try to schedule them during conventions just because yeah. it's more convenient but that's okay. not nice the weather. point for me right. yeah no that's it it's not like the ultimate end goal but it's it's kind of that thing where like we'll look at stuff that we want to do together yeah and like as a like it would be nice to have a shoot of us together mm -hmm. it was more so like in the like more recent years like say like yeah. this year and like maybe last year especially yeah. where it was more of a like let's do this we can schedule stuff together yeah. and all that but yeah. It's really it's just not the so that we point. can hang out at the con. Exactly. Yeah, all decked out. <laughs> That's the most important thing, really. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And um, how did you guys first meet? At school. <laughs> at school, okay. At Dawson. Like college, uh, yeah. We both went to Dawson uh, in yeah. illustration and uh, design. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, and well, were was, you guys, funny, were, were you we, guys, did you immediately be like, you're a fan of this stuff and you're a fan of this stuff? And <laughs> well, it was funny because be we, we hadn't, we didn't speak for like half a year. I was super intimidated because she was just like, <laughs> she's an expert storyteller, always surrounded by people. Right, and right. I'm like this introvert who's very happy in my corner with my books. Thank you. <laughs> right. I, and then I'm not quite sure when we started talking, but we immediately bonded over relating to Harley and Ivy respectfully. Yes. Perfect. Yes. I was like fawning over Especially, her coat yeah. and then right. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy and then just kind of stuck. Oh, it's because we shared our locker together. That's true. Um, like if you're not familiar with Dawson lockers, like art right. lockers, yeah. um, they, um, they connect from one end to another, so like you can yeah. have completely opposite lockers, and then you can yeah. like see each other from one end of the locker to the other. Right. Uh, and yeah, we just uh, ended up. Yeah, she was like my locker wife. Yeah, <laughs> I was vaguely there. Like I did, like some summer school stuff, and then like I vaguely tried to get into the arts program, and I was just like I was already part of a, a comic art school. Oh. So I was sort of like I don't need this. <laughs> I'm going to be in the comic books. I mean, fair. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, well, I don't need the fancy, dancy, artsy stuff. But, uh, yeah, that was my, I don't remember the lockers. I didn't get that far. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's, just, yeah. it's been a, it's been a. And Harley and Ivy has sort of always been the thing. I mean, yeah, that's, that's where I first like, met you guys. Yes. You were that. Yeah. And <laughs> you guys like switched it and. I mean, I think our goal... Was that the plan that you guys, you were Harley and Ivy one year and then you switched it? We were trying. The next year? Because, uh, you know, were you she, like, she... next year I'm going to be... <laughs> well, like, she nailed the, the bombshell Harley look, right? Yes. And then I wanted to the cosplay with her as a, like, right. as a, as a duo, so it was just a, a, kind of a nightmare to try and find a cosplay that I could, yeah. you know, do and, like... It was like kind of like a last minute thing where I yeah. just went, I have this dress with plants on it. I'm going to 
be poison ivy and try it out for size. Yeah. And I'll need to figure out that I'm much better at doing goofy grins and silly poses <laughs> than icy stares and model like poses. But, you know. And you yeah. know, vice versa. So I think that we're Their definitely <laughs> suited. Quite, there quite you go. Yeah. Uh, the creation of the costumes. You guys do it yourselves and you get together and you do it, or is it sort of like That's the plan this is how this my year. costume's coming along? <laughs> Do you guys like surprise yourselves or like you're like, As a, like I'm not showing you until no, the day? No, no. Or do you like, like? Like I know I surprise myself sometimes. Oh, okay. You surprise yourself. <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant. No, no. With like how surprise little her, sleep but... I can run on the night before a con and oh, pull goodness. something together. Like right. I'm, I'm very impressed with myself some years. No. Yeah. We're, we're good at like constant messenger like pictures and like look at this right. thing that just came in the mail that is absolutely horrendous. I have to duct tape it together. Like it's... Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, like this year we are trying to get together to actually, you know, craft things okay so it's like that would be nice um but generally speaking because of you know busy schedules and all that it's yeah. just kind of yeah i like on and our, you guys on started our side. doing the um custom made costumes this year right slowly they're so comfortable so yeah. worth it yeah <laughs> like when, I, when i ran into you guys you were just like chilling and just like yes. so happy mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah it's for the sure. best thing it, it seems to be uh quite the trend now it is it, it, well, they're so well made now i mean yeah. if you get a good company they're they can be so well made it's like walking around in a giant yeah. Did you see it in, like, the, um, the Spider-Man ones were really the ones that kind of kicked off, and yeah. then it's just transitioned into other things, And is right? that, is there one specific company, or is there, like, a the best well, one? Uh, or? Arachnid Studios yeah. is really big in terms of the designs that he does, and yeah. basically the way it works is that you buy them for 40 bucks, yeah. and then you can go to a different company that'll print it and sew it for you. Yeah, you just get the design and then outsource for for the sewing which is nice which is nice i mean there's other cheaper companies or like manufacturers that are yeah. based off in china and stuff but yeah. from looking at their websites and stuff I'm, i just wasn't as impressed as the yeah. the arachnid yeah. studios one so and i'm sure you definitely want to get one that's gonna stay together and oh for sure yeah absolutely <laughs> Especially you don't want to play around with that. you don't want that falling apart on no. you yeah. like yeah. I've, I've put mine in the wash already and like yeah you know, it's fine. And you guys have ideas for cosplays for, like, a long period of time? Or is it sort of, like, one year you're just, um, like... We, yeah. <laughs> we actually have a shared file going on with all the duos That's that we want to amazing. do. We probably have cosplays for the next, like... Several years. Yeah. It's like, close to a decade, yeah. probably. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably. Wow. And we're only going to add to that. <laughs> wow. I don't think... I mean... I mean, this year might be a bit different because we're going a bit more, you know, uh, involved. But the past years, I mean, we're so into, you know, oh, but we could do this. Oh, we could do this one. What about this year next? And then they come out with a new statue and it's like, oh, but we have to do this one. So I don't yeah. think we can carry on like one cosplay for several years. Yeah. Um, but, you know. Hopefully the DC keeps <laughs> coming out with more and more bombshells. and Yeah. It just keeps you guys... In, in. Well, they, they tend to be really comfortable cosplays. Yeah. And they they also look amazing. And, so. and it's real world sort of um, ideas that they, that they mm-hmm. establish. Mm-hmm. I mean, know, and we're su- both super into vintage. So, yeah. I mean, this really, you know, calls to our, our, our yeah. little pin up hearts. And so. this whole thing, this whole DC bombshells, I mean, this has sort of become... A really big thing and there's like right? a few different comic book series now i'm kind yeah. of sad though because the statues are gorgeous quality like yeah. absolutely amazing they have gone up in price because they are so popular now yeah, yeah now they want to really <sighs> and I, it I used know. to be like i'll, I'll spend 125 dollars on an amazing statue and now it's like yeah. 150 175 300 Th- those are for like wow. the duos yeah. but yeah wow Hopefully they're able to come up with like a cartoon or something. Uh, oh, that I would be, be gorgeous. so down yeah. for that. Mm-hmm. I yeah. definitely see. I mean, like, already the comics are. Gorgeous. Dini and Tim doing something. You know, Paul Dini and Bruce I'd be, Tim I'd be doing. So down. Oh, That'd yeah. be awesome. Because their style that, really fits that. It's a dream come true. Hopefully, they if you're do listening, something. guys, you should do it. Yes, <laughs> please. If and if you're listening, let me know because <laughs> you guys have to be on my show. <laughs> that would be really cool. If you guys do uh, listen to this. Man. Um, what are some of your favorite DC bombshells, by the way? Oh, goodness. It's like asking to pick your favorite child. I know. You can't do that. That's the same thing as Harley, with any... Harley, Ivy, and Raven, which are all ones that I've done. 
Yeah. That's very true, actually. Uh, hot yeah. Girl is really cool, hot too. Hot Girl is very cool, hot too. Hot Girl is very cool. Um, How is the Hot Girl? Halloween Batgirl. Halloween Batgirl, yes. Which you have the statue of. Yes. Which, whenever My I come baby. in for a tattoo. She, you're a tattoo artist as well, I didn't mention that. <laughs> But whenever um, I, you're my tattoo artist, and whenever I come in to do a tattoo, I I think I actually took a picture of it, like, <laughs> incognito <laughs> once, just so I can, like, show people it and stuff. Let's see. She's um, Roxy Rocket. She works at Dawn Design, too. Roxy Rocket, yeah. <laughs> she does a lot of do really promo. cool I wasn't I wasn't art. originally supposed to mention that or something. I don't, I don't know. Anyway. There you go. Um, <laughs> yeah, the tattooing thing. That's... Yeah. I do tattoos. Doing for I hurt few, people. Yeah. You hurt me. For <laughs> willing people. Living. Willing people only. Willing people, exactly. It's so worth it, though. <laughs> I mean, I, the, the, sometimes I'm thinking that it's, it's painful, but it's going to look so well, we, cool. We've both been willing victims. There it's, you go. It's going to look so cool when it's done. <laughs> it's worth the pain. That's, that's, I think, is the appeal when people ask, does it hurt? And I'm like, yeah, but look at it. Mm -hmm. Does it matter? No, that's it. <laughs> it's like you, you forget as soon as you're out. You're out and you forgot the oh, pain. Yeah. And you're already planning your next one. Right? Exactly. Yeah, so it's like I'm opening definitely... a bag of chips. You know, yeah. trying to only take one. You, you can't just do one. So you've been an artist for your whole life. That's a whole. Uh, that's usually... like the artist, artist. Uh, I'd say yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, I've dabbled in a couple different things. Uh, you know, murals. Uh, commissioned paintings and stuff like that. Um, yeah. never really took off that well. Um couldn't find anything went to a boring office job and then uh found work as a tattoo apprentice at a shop <laughs> wow. with a mentor yeah. that was willing yeah. to you know help yeah. out so yay. yeah <laughs> yeah and i have to say like that's uh, you know i've i've you know obviously i've been a few times now and uh your demeanor is what what i think is <laughs> what brings me back if i Aww. if somebody that was tattooing me and they weren't uh, nice, and uh, I just it, it didn't talk to me, and and talk this geeky stuff with me, and it would it would really not be worth it. I don't think. <laughs> I, I think it's but, something that comes up like often though, is yeah. that a lot of people are like, "Oh, you're so not like what I expect of a tattoo artist," and I which think, is really weird. I don't know. I, I guess I, uh, what a lot of people have been saying is like, you know, they kind of go with like bubbly, so we'll just right. stick to that. I'm just, uh, I guess, I'm a very I don't know, generally peppy person. I don't know. And I made a <laughs> note of this. She's kind and charming, and you can experience it yourself <laughs> yeah. at Dawn Design 2. Ask for Roxy. And Priya is her, her promo. Uh, She's my her, agent. Her, her agent. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I had to make a note of this, because we were talking about this last time I was in there, mm -hmm. and we are talking about pain before. Yeah. And you were saying that the men actually... <laughs> Oh my God, complain so more <laughs> complain more about the pain no, than that women they do, do. Though. they do um well generally speaking um yeah. i think i don't know if it's because they're more comfortable sharing that they're in pain or right. because they get more painful actually no that's not true i'll have women who come in and get five hour rib tattoos and say yeah. nothing yeah <laughs> um, yeah but i find not so much about the pain it's more um uh, people who like pass out or like right. they need a moment. It's generally men. Um, right. And uh, I can't believe people pass out. <laughs> well, okay, your body, your body kind of has a way of like shutting down, if that makes right. sense. Where like right. you're, it's getting pain signals, and it's just like, no, I can't take this anymore. So yeah. it's just like, let's turn off the lights for a second, yeah. like, bloop, yeah. and, and it's just you get that like, I don't feel very well, and then. Well, just... it was funny the first couple of times. Um, I have no real like voluntary control with my legs mm -hmm. but the few first few times that i've gone for some reason especially for my joker tattoo which is a, is a pretty big piece yeah my legs started moving like and i was like <laughs> trying so hard not to make them like <laughs> try to run away or something it was really <laughs> funny i tried so hard and not to make it seem like they were freaking out but there was a few times there when they were <laughs> And, um, yeah, it was kind of funny because, I mean, my whole life it's been kind of, they've been weird like that. And, like, when the doctor would test my, um... Like, reflexes? Reflexes with that thing. They, he'd do one leg and the other leg would, would move. That's so, yeah. that is so odd. Involuntarily, okay. <laughs> just, they, they do what they want to do. <laughs> but, anyway, yeah, that was, uh, you know, my upstairs reception wasn't 
feeling that much pain, but my downstairs was definitely, it didn't like it. It's having a field trip. Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure, for sure. So that's awesome. We talked a little bit about you guys. By the way, Priya, I did mention here, I wanted to mention that Batwoman shoot that you did. Yes. <laughs> the uh, wedding Yes, the yes. The Maggie Sawyer and Kate Kane. I mean, my dream shoot, we would both be wearing tuxes, but yeah. I was already roping my friend into that. We worked yeah. with what we had. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of people uh, maybe not really understand what that was. Maybe we should mention actually exactly what it, what it, what it was. But it was um, Kate Kane, who's Batwoman, and uh, her comic book, girlfriend at one time who she was they were they were engaged yeah and you did a photo shoot with them with the sort of like their engagement shoot mm -hmm. photos which uh you know i mean it was first of all it was a groundbreaking uh storyline absolutely yeah you know and it was important for them to do that and you know i i hadn't seen a cosplay of 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 Maggie so I, I don't think anybody's done a Maggie Sawyer cosplay <laughs> but that was a friend of yours yes yes I roped her into it and she was super chill very accommodating she's like do what you want I'm in <laughs> yeah so I very much lucked out in that regard right, right. but yeah as like a queer goth girl <laughs> Right. That storyline was so oh. important to me, and it just broke my heart when they were not allowed to get married. No, I know. That was really something that, I mean, and it kind of killed my interest in the book. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. like, it was my favorite series. I mean, every yeah. page was a work of art. The story was amazing. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, I'm going to put my headset on. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> so now I can actually hear what the podcast is going to sound like, which is, <laughs> that was smart. Dave, it's been a, it's been a rough day. It's been a long one, definitely. Yeah, it's been a long one. Um, we'll talk about Batwoman a little more because uh, obviously there's a lot going on with that character. We finally got, uh, we're going to get a live action version. Yes. yes. Which is something that, you know, uh, we had, I had had notes for this podcast for quite some time because we had scheduling conflicts and stuff but uh, that news came out sort of after I did my first initial notes and I'm just gonna go straight to the Batwoman stuff because <laughs> we got Ruby Rose playing her We're ready. on TV <laughs> this season on the CW uh, DC shows and uh, I think it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a crossover with all the shows mm -hmm. and we're going to have nice. her debut and uh, on the Arrowverse uh, CW shows and uh, hopefully that goes as magnificent as we want it to. Oh, I hope so. Because like my hopes are so high. So there's, there's so much room for them to fall and just crash yeah. into the ground. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because it's TV and we just don't know what's going to happen. Exactly. It could go either way. Right. I feel like the stakes are so high just because it's, it's, a heroine TV show. Right. And like, it's sort of in the same way that Wonder Woman had so much resting on her shoulders just because it wasn't Batman or Superman. Yeah. I, I feel like there's just so much pressure for it to do well because Enemy, otherwise they sure. might pull the plug we on had all the one, other heroines. We had a Wonder Woman show not happen. Yeah. Um, I had seen the, I have seen the uh, pilot for that. The, uh, Wonder Woman yeah. failed TV show mm -hmm. when it was touch and go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I can see why it didn't happen. But uh, yeah, I mean, so far so good with this Batwoman thing because we had the first promo image there and uh, I thought it looked oh, it's yes. epic. It's definitely like comic like they, book they nailed her entire design. Even more than the other CW shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Flash. What's the... <laughs> You know, who I, I think he's great, but he's thinner than the comic book, mm -hmm. and he's you know, you know, obviously. I feel like they try to make him more realistic. He'd, and, he'd make a better Peter Parker. He would be like an amazing. <laughs> you Peter know what Parker. I mean? But and you know what? I've been watching it. It's just like you know what? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, my buddy is uh, Patrick Sabonjui. I want to say. I hope I got that right. He's the. <laughs> um, Captain Singh on the show. Oh. Yeah, just through friends. He's friends. He's from Montreal. He's friends with a friend of mine 
and uh, had a chance to interview him uh, a couple years back. That's awesome. And uh, we had a chance to just geek out and talk about stuff. And we had talked about Grant Gustin quite a bit. And he is, I mean, a great actor and stuff. But Mm -hmm. I think we all just agree that... Damn, you should be Peter Parker. Right? He's got that, that, that perfect level of, like, awkward and bumbling. Right. Like, I'm just... Right. I, I'd be super sold. Right. I think he even agree. Would, would agree. <laughs> I think he would agree. I think he'd be like, yeah, I, I would play... It's a little too late, but anyway. <laughs> Still. Older, but, older uh, Peter Parker? I could, I could see it. Yeah. Uh, no. I mean, you never know. I mean, mm-hmm. down the road. A Peter Parker TV show? A Pe- like a Spider-Man. Just a Peter Parker TV <laughs> just show? Just Peter Parker. Not like a Spider-Man TV show. Yeah. The Adventures of Peter Parker taking pictures. I would, I would so watch that. Yeah, we I would think all watch it. Right? You get J. Jonah Jameson. Before like, yeah, the origin exactly. story. There you go. And he's just like, yeah, I got pictures of Spider-Man. Like, Spider-Man's there, but he's not. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, right I got pictures. I got pictures of Spider-Man. <laughs> and we're all waiting Spider-Man. to see Spider-Man. Question mark, question mark. Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> and he's like, look, trying to like make rent, and that's his, <laughs> that's the whole purpose of the TV show. But uh, we totally got off of Batwoman, which was supposed to be, <laughs> you know, you guys, what have you thought about that casting, Ruby Rose? Uh, well, Touch and go? You're not? I'm not a huge fan of okay. her acting, okay. um, but she does look the part, and like, yeah. I mean, I remain to be, I don't know, I, I'm sure I'll be impressed, yeah. so I'll yeah. just leave it at that i think yeah <laughs> well no i mean it'll be interesting you know if they do do a solo tv show i hope it's it's got its own look and feel yeah you know and it's kind of uh you know and they take that that uh the style of jones and stuff and, and they make that you know mm-hmm. i hope i hope i have hope i have lots of hope <laughs> And I mean, uh, you know, I mean, we also had the recent cancellations. Yeah. I hate to say, with some of the Marvel stuff. Talking about superhero TV shows, we had Iron Fist and Luke Cage just recently canceled, which, I mean, Luke Cage specifically, it breaks my heart. Yes, I was really good. I can't say I care. No. Um, Luke Cage was such an important show. I felt both shows, the second seasons were better. Yeah. My opinion, you know, I, I think even Iron Fist, I think the second season was a little bit better. A little I don't bit know, more. I like the first season of Luke Cage a lot. Yeah. Oh, me too. But yes, Iron Fist, definitely, like, yeah. if we're comparing the two, there was the action, second one. There was, was more action, there was more, uh, there was less. Development of characters yeah. who aren't Danny Rand. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Goodness. No, yeah, and there was a lot. They did a lot with uh, Misty and Colleen. Yes, yeah, and they're such cool characters. And, and like the way the relationship through. is developing between mm-hmm. the two. I, I just, I, I really just want to see a Daughters of the Dragon yeah. TV show now. No, absolutely. But I think that's, that was the conclusion. I think a lot of people mm-hmm. reached I at the end. I think a lot of people, yeah, yeah. I mean, and I, I, I also would love to see. It, I hope it becomes a, a Heroes for Hire TV yes, show. Yes, I was mm-hmm. about to say. And you can make them away. all together in one. You know. Yeah, I think exactly. It could all work. Mm-hmm. It could all work. You know, I, I. Like as long as you know these chapters closing are opening the doors for other, other things. possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Uh, Although I think I'm, I'm still. Disney is still working on that streaming network so you know let's see hopefully <laughs> we'll see what happens i mean they were talking about a low-key tv show i just really jumped into this these the um hot topics without even it was it this was is the hot topic flow. section everybody yeah exactly <laughs> we just started talking about hot topics you know it was great that you did a batwoman cosplay there we it go just all transitioned perfectly Such a fluid. <laughs> So from that, we'll just jump into this Joker movie. What do you guys think about this Joker movie? Uh, A quietness. <laughs> Awkwardness. I don't know. Um, like, yeah. I, I have to say that... Yeah. I mean, you haven't seen I much. Feel, I feel so. like DC fans are going to hate me for this, but I have never been fond of the Joker. I always felt mm-hmm. that 
Like, I liked him in the sense that in the animated series, he opened mm-hmm. the door for so much Harley development. <laughs> and I yeah. think she's an amazing character. She is an amazing character. I think, I think the animated series had... Well, we're not supposed to know, like the Joker, right? The Joker, no, like, but, like, it's <laughs> funny, like, as a clown. It was, like, it was, yeah. it was, like mm-hmm. creepy and then, like, what the hell kind of, kind of way, but not in a, like... This is a maniac, and yeah. I'm, it's making me really uncomfortable. Yeah. But see, like you know, there are villains who you like just in terms of thinking that they're very interesting villains, mm-hmm. and you can mm-hmm. kind of see where they're coming from and how they mm-hmm. can draw certain conclusions, mm-hmm. even if you don't agree with and them or think honest, they're right. And to be honest, most Batman villains are like that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like um like a, a Mister Freeze. Movie, yes, please. Yes, <laughs> I'd be so down. A good Mister Freeze without like. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> oh, goodness, please. Right. Have you guys watched Gotham at all? Because he's on there. Five episodes. And he's like, he's got hair. He's got hair. Well, okay. he I looks, mean, he that's looks kind of not like, accurate. He looks kind of like a Martin Short's Jack Frost from Santa oh. Claus. Okay. He looks kind of like that. That's oh. how I always see when I see him. Or even he looks kind of like the adult Jack Frost from that movie that... Right. Came out a few years ago. <laughs> that I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Cartoon. Anyway, um, yeah. So I mean, I don't really know what's going on with this Joker movie. I don't really. Uh, it looks weird. It looks like it could be like some sort of offshoot uh, origin for Heath Ledger's Joker. I, I don't. Maybe, maybe. but like from know. the very little. And that's that... still not supposed to be connected to it. And it's the makeup is weird. Yeah. And, I, you know, I will say, though, that I really liked the, what is it, makeup test? The look of it, the feel of it, mm-hmm. with the zooming into him, and you see, like, shadows of him, and it, the, mm-hmm. the feel of it felt really cool. And then when they showed the final makeup, I was like, ugh. Is it, what, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Did you guys fire the makeup was full artist? Of what disappointed you guys, fans? Why can't we just... DC just give fans what they want. I don't know. They've got to play what hard to get. What that? can I say? <laughs> it seems like they're trying to do it now. By even giving Aquaman his traditional costume. Yeah. And but see, that's one thing. I'm Wonder actually Woman. Uh, Roxy, of, I know, you know we've into... talked about this. While I'm getting my tattoos and your issues <sighs> with the Wonder Woman movie. Which Goodness. is not... A lot of people feel this way. Not a lot of people feel this way? Well, I've, most people I feel <laughs> that that I've talked to feel Wonder Woman was is the best DC movie. Not that's saying too oh. much. But. Well, okay. If, <clears throat> like, if we're looking at it this way, yes, it yeah. was, in a sense. Not, uh, I just, okay. I feel like DC is having such a hard time getting it right, and they keep yeah. tacking on director's cuts onto yeah. everything to make it sort of better, but it's not... It just feels like sort of like a cop out. It's like, oh, the movie's like so so, but we'll add like 30, 40 minutes of like extra scenes Which is that a you can get yeah. on the on the DVD. Yeah. But you're still leaving the theater going like, yeah. I have so many questions that aren't yeah. answered. Yeah. And like, I've been waiting for a Wonder Woman movie for so long. Well, everybody so has. I mean, when I, I went in there, I had such high hopes. Yeah. And, like, while there were things I was really happy about, like, when she's walking the battlefield and there's, like, you know, bombs and stuff, it's just so impressive. It's so cool. But then I just feel like they made her out to be so dumb. Yeah. And, like, she didn't know what a dress was. And, like, how can you fight? Like, what? I had had Pocahontas 2 vibes. And that's a terrible thing to say. But that's exactly what it was. No, I I completely agree. It was the whole, like, um... Okay, so you both agree. That's awesome. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Maybe it's just me that was like, ah. Well, it definitely had some ah moments. Like, it had some, like, such powerful scenes. But... There were also a lot of issues. <laughs> My mom really liked it, believe it or not. I guess I find, like, I watch movies, these comic book movies with her, and I look over and she's just falling asleep. <laughs> with every, and she says, because there's too much action. Like, Infinity War, it was just too much. It was too much. And I'm like, wake up, wake up. Like, like, like right near the end, I'm like, mom, good part. <laughs> mom, you're going to want to see this. This is really, this is really important. You know, and it's just, but up to there, she was just like almost snoring, you know, and there's just a few comic book movies that keep her awake. Interesting and, and Wonder Woman, she's watched it like 
I can go in the room and a catcher watching it, which is oh. which is rare. And it, it and I think it's the... just because it's a female in a movie, and it's not um like girlfriendy, you know. And it's like she's she's just doing her thing, and I think that's just. You yeah. know, there, she, like, she felt the same way with Black Panther with a lot of the female characters in that Black movie Panther so. nailed it. Yeah. It was glorious. Yeah. Like, I left there and I was just like, yes, this is great. Well, <laughs> I, I felt like that too. And then I read some reviews by people of color who were right. saying how um, the way that they're portrayed is like the acceptable way to be a person and, of yeah. color and, and like ways... very calm and then the americanized one was like really angry exactly and, like, he's, he's and, like, not yes. like, like the way he is isn't okay so i'll, yeah. I'll say that had yeah. issues too but overall yeah. like i still yeah. loved it yeah yeah it, it, well yeah i mean there are those issues and i feel uh and some people felt in baku's tribe wasn't yeah uh, up to snuff because they were like barking at people and stuff and, mm-hmm. yeah. and people and like threatening to eat children mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> but i mean he's not a good guy. he's a bad guy he's probably that character is probably uh black panther's number two villain so i was kind of expecting him to be nasty you know so I, <laughs> you know it kind of was like uh eh, you know and they didn't use his comic book name which is like man ape or yeah man ape. yeah i'm that glad was a, they didn't do yeah that. they obviously Good couldn't move. do that they do that in the cartoons as well and they can't they can't mention his real name and stuff but um but yeah i mean um you know i feel they nailed it and of course dc just can't for whatever they <laughs> you know they're trying well for a while i thought you know if dc could do with their live action movies what they're doing with their animated movies right it'd be great because they're a lot most of their animated movies are great you know, mask of the phantasm yeah you know all that most fun of them stuff. Are great. and then yeah. they came out with batman and harley yeah and we've then talked I about this as well <laughs> retract it's my funny i feel entirely. like we could totally make a podcast while i'm getting a tattoo <laughs> every once in a while <laughs> we've ow, ow. we've gotten this we've talked all about this stuff yeah um bring your equipment i know you were, there you, you were you yeah uh, you weren't, you weren't, uh, happy, but I haven't seen it yet. Nope. Oh, you, you're not missing it's, out on yeah, much. You yeah. don't have to. Watch the trailer and you'll be sufficiently disappointed, I right, swear. Right. Like, as a hardcore Harley I really fan, enjoyed like just, no. Justice League Dark. Yes, that was I've great. I've seen that. I've seen the Constantine. Uh, they just played it, uh, they just played it on TV. The Constantine TV, uh, I think it's like a, a short, and then they have Matt Ryan doing... The voice of Constantine, and I think they're doing a movie as well, an animated movie as well, and uh, yeah, it's very, it's very good. I'll I have mean, to it's him, look and, into that. and he seems to be the Constantine go-to <laughs> guy, and he's on Legend of Tomorrow now. Sweet. But um, yeah, so uh, hopefully DC gets their gets their shit together. <laughs> That'd be great. That would, that would be great. That would be great. Are, you guys, you, know, go, are you guys going to check out Aqua, Aqua, Aquaman? Yeah, I want to. It looks I think so everybody creamy. will. Yeah. I, I liked, he, was, he was the redeeming factor in the Justice League. I movie. felt that I way agree. too. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I think what worked with him is that they let the actor sort of take the character mm-hmm. and make yeah. it his own. He, he looks like, like he's Marvel having fun does. doing it. Because mm-hmm. so. Marvel, I feel, does that. Yeah. They let Paul Rudd take his yes. take the reins with with Ant-Man and they let Robert Downey Jr. Mm-hmm. and uh, Mark Ruffalo I think yeah. they, they feel uh, everybody <laughs> pretty much everybody yeah I feel they they let them sort of you know take their you know character and, and yeah when they trust develop their it actors in their way it, and, yeah it pays off and that way it weirdly makes everybody happy yeah the, the comic book fans and it just the, feels more real? It feels real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think it's I think it's just good acting, getting the right people to play those parts. For and, sure. But yeah, Aquaman does look promising. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> I'm gonna check it out. 
I think Mera looks great. Yes. Uh, Black Manta looks great. Yeah. I'm so happy that he's in there. Yeah. Because the original trailer didn't have him in there. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, come on. It can't be an Aquaman I don't, movie I, I, I hope Manta. he's not just like a one and done and they kill him off. No. No. That'd be sad. I really hope that they... Because he looks comic accurate. And mm-hmm. I know people complain sometimes when I say that. It's like, it's not a comic book. But... As a fan, I want things to be You do. You don't want it to feel like a completely different I want to see the character, character that I grew up with. Yes. Absolutely. You want him with the giant head. Like it has, you want it the has big a head. Character. Exactly. Right? And it kind of made me feel like they took that character and they looked at him and they're like, there's no way we can make that <laughs> hip and cool, you know? Because, <laughs> like, like, I mean, when you look at translate. Suicide Squad, they took every character and they're like, let's give him a ton of tattoos. Make them grittier. Make them hardcore. Make them... Uh, and, <laughs> and and with Black Manta, they looked at this guy. They're like... No, he's good. You know what? He's so out there. We're just going to do it and, and, and see what happens. <laughs> you know? Either they'll like it or they won't. They'll make fun of his big head. I don't know. Which is great because I don't know if you guys play that Injustice video game. Injustice 2. Because oh, yes. he's in it. He's a DLC character. Mm-hmm. And just every fight, they're making fun of his the size of his head. Yeah, I want to see those cosplays. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, goodness. oh, that's gonna be phenomenal. That'd be great. I've already seen quite a few. Mar- well, Mara's very yeah. popular already in Aquaman. There's a bombshell version of her as yeah. well, so that's pretty neat. That's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. And she's a. She's like a. She's like a, a like out of the beach sort of. She's got like a, a hat or like a sunhat yeah. or something. Yeah. She looks awesome. They do great. Do you guys read the comic books as well? Yeah. The bombshells? I do not. I read I read the Marguerite Sauvage. Mhm. She ones. was at Comic-Con a couple I know. years ago. And we've had her here. No oh. way. We've had her here at the at the store. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I I don't know if she's comfortable enough doing an English podcast. But I know she's been on the French one already. Nice. Maybe maybe one day I'll try to get her on the <laughs> We'll see. She doesn't have to be speak perfect English. No. So. Speaking of facts, and it only shows exactly. that you can speak more than one. So okay. did, I'll throw this in. Did you guys read Batman Damned? No, I did not. Nope. The Bermejo, the, um, you know, the risque. Um, you guys didn't hear nothing about that? No. I'm that, so behind. That Batman's... <laughs> <clears throat> junk was what what really no. wow i have guests on the show that don't know about this guys <laughs> um yeah batman's i'm gonna say it, batman's penis was actually shown lee bermejo which you guys what? know is the artist of luthor and uh he, he did a joker graphic novel uh-huh. and he does a very realistic art yeah, style like, I'm familiar and there's with the a artist, scene but... where where batman uh, bruce wayne i think he's getting out of his bat suit and he's walking in the bat cave just full commando and it's swinging and swaying freely freely Out for the world to see all right but there was such a big uproar that dc is going to take it out no. and censor it Wow. In future editions. See, that's funny because when and I don't know if I don't know if your your boyfriend Stu has the comic or not. I'd have to see probably. It's probably going to go up in value. (laughs) Yeah, I I have it. But see, I'm proud to say that I have it. This is going to be like (laughs) my 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 petty little comment (laughs) where it's funny how nobody raised an eyebrow or like not that much when they had that Catwoman and Batman sex scene in Catwoman. Totally. Nobody batted an eye. Totally. But totally. you know, we get bat- Bruce Wayne fan service, and here. and also I will the mention that in the Killing Joke, we did see a little glimpse of Gordon's situation Do you in mean one panel. I, I have Gordon? these panels memorized, so I definitely know it happened, <laughs> at least in my original copy. We did see a little bit of Gordon's weenie at one point. Oh, really? Yeah, a little bit, just a little. <laughs> it's very vague. You have to really look at it. Very. <laughs> I have to, I've studied this book so well that I can say, and people have to look at that, you know. And there was a little bit, there was a little uh, hinted at, a little hinted scene of 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 uh, I think Barbara's. That's, you know, I'm, I'm glad that's something but, that we, they never. Do you guys uh, feel you know, that that yeah, dwelled upon? I mean, female nudity is more acceptable in oh, absolutely, comic books, obviously, yes. it shouldn't it's be, not fair. but it shouldn't yeah. Be. 
Well, it's it's more you as know. a like a selling point, and not especially saying, in the like, mainstream mainstream stuff. I mean, obviously the indies and have also sex more criminals and stuff like that. Like women as objects, yeah. so it's yeah. okay because you yeah. know they'll yeah. be you know part like you know half dead or something, but they're still in this like a suggest suggestive yeah. pose yeah. or something like that, where it's really yeah. you know it's to be viewed. And like appreciated, which yeah. I hate saying that word, but that's really what it is. Yeah. Whereas you know you'll have a fallen hero, and it'll be you know to mourn or whatever. But no, like the girl will die, and she'll be naked or half yeah. naked with strategically placed yeah. rips or whatever yeah. to be like I don't know. Yeah. It's just just gross. Well, I mean, to be <laughs> fair, Super Superman died. He was fully ripped up too. That's true. <laughs> and his chest hair was all hanging out. <laughs> Um, do you guys see sort of a sort of a shift though coming in comics in terms of? I think people are speaking up more, yeah. and that's a hell of a good thing. Yeah, because it's no longer you know I I no longer feel you know like I'm not allowed in comic book stores and mm -hmm. stuff like that because yeah. we are shifting the narrative whether it's I'm on Facebook or that. on Twitter and yeah. stuff like that. It's just just comics are for women too yeah, right. and like I right. you know right. I was introduced to comics by both my parents before right. I could even read me too <laughs> and yeah. um like I know in the years that I was growing up my mom felt like less and less welcome in comic book stores just because right. it was like tons well, of like cleavage what were some of the books yeah. that your parents read uh Sandman was a big one um okay. Swamp Thing uh, my so there, dad was very, he's into Marvel 2 now, but when I was right. a kid, it was mostly DC. Right. And they were into the British invasion era of the late eighties, right? Where we had yeah. uh, Alan Moore and Neil yes. Gaiman coming. Promethea. Yeah. And it's mm -hmm. sort of, things started to get a little bit more grown up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and yeah, I, that generation, I think has created this amazing generation now of cosplayers and, mm -hmm. and kids that grew up on this stuff. Absolutely. It's, it's really, really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, speaking of women, um, uh, do you guys feel that there's you're a little bit more accepted in this community now? Or because, I mean, when I started working, <clears throat> you know, in the industry, the retail part of the industry, I mean, I was just shocked at some of the stuff some of the female customers were telling me. Yeah. I feel and how like they were just, they thank, they were thanking us for just being not decent. looking at them weird when they came in the yeah. store. Yeah. Or like the female section is over there kind of deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel like we still have to fight a lot for that, especially when they make changes to beloved characters like Thor being a woman for a while. Right. People were more offended by Thor being a woman than Thor being a frog. Uh, which really bothered me. But it me. was a great story. It was. Line. It was. But, you know, it's it's one of those things where, you know, I feel like social media does give people, um, uh, like, not a pedestal, oh. but, like, you know, it gives them a, a way to, like, express how they feel. Yeah. And it's so much easier to be hateful. Yeah. And, you know, for the longest time, you know, you cosplay in a remotely, you know, revealing outfit that was designed by artists. You know, you're right. accurate to a T and you're still being told that you're only cosplaying to show off your body and right. you're not really a fan and you're just looking for an excuse to dress right. in a certain way. Right. Um, so, I mean, we, the, we're we still fighting that. It's still you guys, pretty you guys, So you guys still get the fake fangirl, sort of. Yeah, well, on the cosplay front, I'll say that I feel very accepted by women in the community. <laughs> yeah. Sure. But definitely going to conventions, especially Comic-Con, you right. do have the fake geek girl thing. You right. have people judging you by what you're wearing, even though, like you said, it's comic accurate. Mm -hmm. You have people, like, saying lewd stuff about you, right. either, like, while you're walking by or to you, touching you without permission, That's still happening. grabbing yeah. you. Yes. Wow. I, yeah. Ha yeah. I, I mean, had... I, know, I know it's happening. I'm, I've seen it in my own eyes, but um, I just really hope that there's sort of a, a, a change in that. Because... Like it was, it was only last year where we had someone interviewing us and he asked us um, if we dressed up this way to get men's attention. Or at... to get, to get really? dates. Yeah. Like potential dates. What outlet was this? Uh, like who, like yeah. who the media, oh goodness, I don't know. It was a French, it was a French guy. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But it was, you know, he, he went and asked us like, 
you know, uh, who, who we would like to see as act, like, uh, as, as, uh, guests at the comic, right. uh, at the convention. So like right. we went on, you know, with a couple artists, like Paul Dini would be of awesome. Course. Bruce Tim would be awesome. And he's like, who are those people? No, no, right. no. He's like, uh, don't, don't you want like Ben Affleck or something? Like he's cute. Right. <laughs> like, excuse me. Like what? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Those are people that go to the conventions and they don't really understand what it is. No. Yeah. That's it. They're not fans. And no. They're, they're... Well, that's the other thing, too, because yeah. now that, co- like, the movies especially have become very mainstream, you have sure. the people who were, like, picking on you back in the day, because <laughs> yeah. why would you read comics? They're for children. For like, yeah. animated movies are for kids. And now, all of a sudden, they feel like they know more than you, and mm-hmm. you're the fake geek yeah. for, like, showing up. <laughs> right, right. Yep. Yeah, and... Um... I've been taking um, acting classes, and even the kids in my class, uh, they're fans of all this stuff, but none of them have read, you know, any <laughs> major oh, comic sad. books, you know, so I'm, I'm literally sitting there and I'm trying to <laughs> explain to them, you know, um, I mean, how I, this stuff is going, and, and I, it's... Yeah. I just want to clarify, though, like, I don't mean to put anyone down if they've only seen movies. That's totally fine. You can love whatever you love. You know, it can be, it can be a gate into, into getting into more comics or looking into the older comic movies or something like that. Like, I have no issues with that. It's more the, the, the looking down upon where it's like, exactly. No, that's definitely, you got to stop. And it's definitely the objectifying, um, of of women that has to stop. I mean, it's. I mean, yeah. if women I in comics could have spines so that they, they don't show their butt and their boobs at the same time, that would already be, like, a drastic <laughs> improvement. Right, yes. right, right. Like, what is yeah. it? Rob, Rob Liefeld's uh, body standards for women is... is yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, More snake than woman. Yes. Yeah. Or, like, it's like and an owl, gets, but from the torso. He <laughs> gets he gets, he gets gets a lot of flack and I think deservedly so yes um, you know and I've had we talked about this on one of my other with I had Yannick Paquette who's an <laughs> artist and we talked about that and you know it's funny because Rob's starting to get a little bit more notoriety in the industry because of the Deadpool movie mm-hmm. and, you know and Cable and Domino yep. and all these characters are his mm-hmm. and he's sort of coming back a little bit um, in all of his pocket and belt glory. In all his pocket and <laughs> all the pockets and belts and <laughs> cybernetic limbs and no feet. And the, ha- the hands, <laughs> the hands that can't hold guns. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, I don't, I don't want to trash him too much because <laughs> you know, maybe oh, like, one day I, I'll have him on the show. I don't know. It, I, it was all lighthearted jest. Yeah, we take I it back. I remember. I remember. I had. I had. I saw him at a convention, American convention, way back in the 2000s, and there was nobody at his desk. (laughs) He was sitting there drawing, and and it was so sad. I was like, I was like, this is the guy that created Deadpool. You know, Deadpool was sort of just starting to get Mm -hmm. a little bit of... In all fairness, though, the artist's alley is always very sadly empty. No, well, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, it depends. I find okay. it depends on the, like, uh, last year, had... last year at Fan Expo, they had, um, I, I managed to see Adam Hughes, um, the first, like, I think it was a Friday and I had to wait like two, five, like sure. maybe five minutes sure. to meet him. I, I mean, obviously well, as the convention went on like Saturdays yeah. and stuff, it's much busier, but like, yeah. It, there was nobody or like you know stanley lau like our art germ who did yeah, a couple yeah. of the batgirl covers and stuff sure. like there was nobody yeah. just nobody yeah. <laughs> it's just so sad when we, when we had kevin eastman uh, i couldn't even get to him oh, okay uh, so i mean you know there was you know there's there's the exceptions yeah definitely but um yeah i mean it's usually not a problem getting an interview from no like the unless it's like you know, if they're, if they're, generally or something, but like Carrie yeah. Nord's an amazing artist and like he yeah. had nobody at his no, desk or whatever. Yeah. So like, it's just yeah. a little sad. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to run a little bit on video games a little bit. Um, the Telltale games. Mm-hmm. The um, Telltale uh, games who, you know, they did the Walking Dead mm-hmm. video games. They did a great Batman um, two season, you know, and they do those episodic Wolf Among Us sort of is really good Wolf too. Wolf Among Us, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, Fable, uh, Wolf yeah. Among Us, yeah. And uh, sadly, they had to close their studio. 
this is kind of older news, but um, I guess it was just from bad sales and I don't know what it was. I, I always, they always get my interest with every game they do, but you know, sadly, uh, you know, they had to close their studio and uh, I know uh, Ubisoft offered their, some of their artists jobs and which is good. Uh, which is awesome. They didn't for get them. any severance pay or notice that yeah. the studio was closing. Yeah. And it was just, it was a shocking thing because they had just released the season, first episode of season, yeah. the final season for Walking Dead, mm-hmm. which, you know, I was really excited about and to see the end of that story. And we don't know if it's going to be finished. I think they just recently said that we're, they're going to try to get a new developer to finish. Oh. They're Walking Dead season, final season. And hopefully they take on some of the people who are now out of a job. Hopefully. It, well, nice. The game has to look somewhat the same. Yeah. So hopefully they'll be able to take on some of the same artists and vo- obviously the voice actors and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Uh, and they're working on a Stranger Things game, which that would, that would have been nice. we'll never see now, <laughs> which is sad. Um, but you guys were... Uh, Priya, you were a fan. Yeah, I was. Like, I was... <laughs> You know, selfishly brokenhearted when yeah. I found out that I would never find out what our dear Clem is I going know, to face. I know. Because I'm, I was just so invested in Did her story. Did you play the first, the first episode? I of haven't. The final um, it ended. It ended really cool. well. My story. Because anyway. like generally, I would wait until a season was out mm, before that's playing. That's what a lot of people do. Yeah, I'm yeah. just, I'm so impatient. It's really yeah. hard. No. no, it's true. It's, it's. But I just. You get to the end of one, and you're just like. <gasps> And then you have to wait like a month or two Exactly. Yeah. And, like I was looking more into the studio closing and apparently they treated the workers really badly. They were like super really? burnt out. They were just like pushing them into the ground yeah. and they were prioritizing the game over the people who are working on the game, which should never be the Ugh. case. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I really hope that somehow they end up doing right by the employees and if right. they can get a job at a different studio where they can finish the game awesome for everyone but yeah 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 that's crazy um yeah i mean hopefully they'll be able to uh fix that because uh i found those games really, really they brought back those uh lucas arts sierra style of of gameplay mm-hmm. where you you know choose the path of the character and and it was taking away from it was not taking away from it, but it was sort of a different style of game rather than the, the shoot 'em up stuff. Yeah, well, it was kind of we, you know, reminiscent to visual fun for novels, people, but yeah, but like mesh with more um, tiny bit more action, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. No, sort of like I, heavy rain. They, was, like, yeah, yeah, and they were still action packed and mm-hmm. fun. And no, oh, definitely. The Batman one was just as fun as any of the, you know, Arkham Batman games with the. You know, you, the fact that you could play Bruce Wayne and Batman. And, like, the stylized yeah. movement and Sometimes, and yes. Sometimes Bruce impressive. Wayne would be more acceptable for a, a mission mm-hmm. than Batman. Yeah, exactly. And you had to choose where, how he would show up and what mm-hmm. suit yeah. he would be wearing, you know, what yeah, what right. identity. And it was that was fun stuff. How to handle, like, the, like politically correct side of things exactly like interacting with like villains you, who you know are villains the, but then at the end you can see how much like other people agree with you based on your choices yeah. mm-hmm. and it was yeah. so much fun it, it was it was really fun they, they really did really something unique games. it was yeah yeah i'm really gonna miss those games i uh, yeah i hopefully um somebody will be able to take the reins so i'm gonna jump right now to captain marvel yes because this is going to be the next big Marvel movie, right? Mm-hmm. And that trailer was just... That last trailer that we got was just... I mean, that was just... I could not believe what we were seeing. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> there was so much going on. And I'm so glad that they, they're doing her actual, like, colorful costume. Yeah. Down to the helmet with the mohawk. Yes. I am so excited. Yeah. I am like... We got to see that. Ugh. We got to see a little binary action mm-hmm. a little bit mm-hmm. in the trailer. I've been waiting for this for so Which, long. I know. I, I was reading it's just, classic I, X-Men when they first did the binary transformation. It's just so epic. 
And it was just epic stuff. You know, I'm down, I'm down for her. I'm down for when Captain they show Marvel. the her and then they did the O. Yes, yes. I mean, they just really killed it. I'm worried. The, yeah. My my biggest worry because yeah. she's such a, a character that's just so dear to me that they're yeah. gonna go the Supergirl route and it's gonna feel like forced uh, girl power. First season of Supergirl, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I really don't want it to be that, but I'm. I, I'm like, I, I have faith in Marvel. I, I hope they, so. I, I really hope so. Because she's they such have a cool a, character. A formula that they know works. Yeah. yeah. And I think uh, they're going to stick to it. Yeah. You know, and, and thankfully we get now sort of like we got to see the 40s, mm-hmm. you know, and we got to see, uh, uh, you know, uh, other different timelines mm-hmm. in the Marvel. Well, we, got the, well we, technically we got the 70s with X-Men, right? But it's... Yeah, yeah, we got we got all the decades with the X Men, which was which was cool. Um, but, uh, hopefully, no, we get I'm to see the nineties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, uh, some yeah, scroll we get to see scrolls. <laughs> yes. That that was because I never thought I'd see scrolls in a mm-hmm. Marvel Studios movie. And I think excited. that's the first little hint of the Fantastic Four rights coming in. Well, I'm maybe hoping. we maybe the Watchers and the, and the yes, Go Guardians of the Galaxy, but um. Yeah, I mean, that's... When I saw the scrolls, I thought, oh, well, that's only a matter of time then <laughs> before we get to see the, the FF. Um, and we get Coulson back yes. in the movies with hair. With hair. And young Nick Fury. Yeah, Nick, Nick Fury, Fury with hair. Yes. Everybody's still, still, got hair. Everybody's <laughs> got hair. Hair's good. Hair's I don't good. Know. <laughs> it's going to be good. I think it's going to be really cool. And we get to see a little bit of Carol Danvers' youth. Yes. Uh, we get to see... Uh, I mean, I... Don't I hope they don't dwell on it super long yeah. because there's not much that's super interesting. It's not like Spider Man coming into his powers and like yeah. evolution or whatever. It's yeah. it's I really hope they kinda cut to Did the Did you guys chase. get to read the life of Captain Marvel? The uh, uh, recent uh, I have not. Yeah. I am severely behind on my reading. It's it's a it's a it's a sort of a, a little origin mm-hmm. mini series that they and it's very, 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 very well well put together. Um and I think they sort of did that to sort of get people ready for the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And which they, you know, they tend to do. Um, I think it's going to be a big hit. Yeah. Um, I really hope so. I'm hoping... What do you guys feel about um, the casting? Like Brie Larson? Brie Larson, yes. Okay, she was pretty cool in, what is it, King Kong? Like, yeah. I liked her. Skull also, um, Scott Pilgrim. Yeah. She's, no, that's what I know her from. She's, she's awesome. She was she's very badass. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Who was she in Scott Pilgrim? She Pilgrim. was, um, uh, what was it, V? Well, no, that's not her name. Damn it. The singer, the lead singer of, of the rival band. She's... <gasps> Why did I not know that? She's the one that's she, she looks a lot, like, she looks different. way different. Yeah. yeah. She's like blonde hair, you know. Hello again, friend. I have to watch this movie. Like you have to watch this. I have. The thing is, I I watched the whole thing and then I envy. There you go. Yes, envy Adams. I'm so sorry. Ah, okay. Like she's yeah, she's awesome. She's very yeah, very badass. Very cool. And like yeah, she was in King Kong. She was awesome as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that they cast her rather than. What's her name? Emma Mayfi. Yes, <laughs> we've all seen what happens when you cast people who aren't actors who yeah. can fight. Yeah. Like we're, we're no, yeah. we're not having Except another. Except for Justin Batista. Pierre. You know. No, he's actually good. But he's I mean, actually really good. Jean Saint Pierre, really? Oh really? yeah. Really? <laughs> Je croyais yeah. que t'étais plus qu'un bouclier. Th- what? <laughs> what? That that actually got quite a reaction in the <laughs> theater when I went to go see it here in Montreal. Yeah, everyone started laughing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, you know, that character isn't meant to be taken seriously, though, Bat Rock. I know, but... He's a real goof character in the comic book, so, you know, I they didn't want him to be a goof in the movie. I think they want him to be cooler, but it didn't yeah. come off. No, no. He's Thankfully, just, uh, you know, we'll probably not see him again. I hope so. so. And if we do, it'll just be, like, I don't know, on TV or something, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Or <laughs> <laughs> in his own mind... Um, yeah, so, um, I'm kind of running out of stuff. The Boba Fett movie was canceled. Oh, it was? Yeah. 
that was something that just, just, just happened. <laughs> which I sort of feel that was okay. <laughs> because uh, the way, the way. Solo was not up to par. I you didn't like it? I mean, it was it was okay. I just watched it not a couple days back. Okay. I watched for the, for the second time, and I enjoyed it, but it didn't wasn't as well received as. Yeah. I liked Rogue Rogue One though. See, I liked Solo better than Rogue One. Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I think Rogue One won me over with the Vader scene. More than anything else. <laughs> All right. That that's what I was hearing because yeah. you know in the theater everyone's kind of like silent and then yeah. Vader comes on yeah. and you can just like feel the tension yeah. rise no, and everyone's and I, super yeah. alert. I looked at my buddy and he looked at me. We just like did this like silent bro nod like <laughs> like <laughs> that's what we came for. Yeah. yeah. See, when I saw it, it was just yeah. massive grins all around yeah. Yeah. <laughs> waiting for this yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I don't know. How do you guys feel about Disney's Star Wars track record thus far? I loved Force Awakens. Yes. And then I yeah. liked Rogue One. Right. I loved the Vader scene. <laughs> you weren't that crazy about Last Jedi, then? Uh, Angry Kylo It was okay. Mm. Luke dying. Uh, for me, it was okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. There was stuff that I liked and there was yeah. stuff that I, I, mean, was, I didn't need. Like floating Leia. Oh man! Oh, she had the perfect opportunity yeah. to have her die. I've talked about this on my podcast before, but and like it's time they just, to talk about it again. What? Yeah. No, there's yeah. a couple things that I really wasn't yeah. impressed by. I like the other team up, things, you know, scene with the uh, red squadron. The red. Was, uh, yeah, the that that was epic. That was like my scene. That like, was like, okay, that's what I'm here for. Like, for some reason, that's so what I do much. with Star Wars movies. I'm just like... <laughs> that's what you're here for. What I'm seeing, I'm like, okay, this is what I'm here for. I feel like it's weird because I'll like things about a movie, but yeah. not the way people interpret it. Like, yeah. I mm -hmm. I like what they're doing with Kylo Ren in, in the sense that he's, you know, he feels very privileged. Yeah. Like, the world owes him something. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah. you know, he deserves everything he's the, because He's the of millennial that. Sith. <laughs> but, like... <laughs> yeah. You know, the very self-centered stereotypical yeah. millennial Sith, yeah, exactly, I suppose. exactly but yeah. people are taking that and being like you know this poor little emo dream boy <laughs> and it's like yeah. no he's not yeah. an attractive character yeah, he's exactly. like oh yeah oh, no. yeah so um so we'll see what happens there you know um that movie's canceled. I don't know if they have any more of those Star Wars movies in development. I know uh, the director of uh, The Last Jedi is going to get his own Star Wars trilogy. <laughs> oh. So we'll see what happens there. I kind of feel I, like, I'm okay with that because you know. I, I, I like Star Wars stories from the universe, from the world. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the Clone Wars I think and the, stuff was the, great. The, the, the Clone Wars yeah. and... Uh, I want a Captain I, Phasma movie. Yeah, yes. that would be great. <laughs> She's so cool. Like, they, they can table Boba Fett, that's and, fine. Yeah. But. So, so, I mean, that's cool. I'm not the only one that likes that character. No. She's, no. Really cool. She's, and, like, she's I was, popular. Um, on vacation last year, and right. I saw they had a novel about her, yeah. like an actual book, and it's, I want to pick it up so bad. It looks so yeah. cool. It's like, I want I want a movie. I want yeah. a full-on movie. I love How'd her she droids. Get there? I love her, her like, evil... R2 and C3PO. Yes! Just, yes! They're just, in the comics anyway that I've read, they're just, they need their own comic book because <laughs> they're just so evil and so nasty. And See, like, just, that's a perfect example of yeah. a villain that, like, you don't like, but you kind of do. <laughs> like, yeah. She's that's not likable, yeah. but she's just so interesting. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, for sure. And, and they definitely, I feel they could cast her. And yeah, I, I would... I would watch it. Yeah. Like, it's... Yeah. Speaking of droids, though, I yeah. feel like the past two movies... Uh, they had great droids. K2SO was awesome. Yes, she Elfrey, was great. Elfrey I liked her the second time perfect. I watched it. I'm like, this is the best character in the movie. Robot Revolution! <laughs> then she's just running around and just, like, trying to, like, free the droids from their it's restraints. So and, yeah. it's, she's so sassy. It's and, amazing. And, and the scene that I really loved was... When she's talking to Kira mm -hmm. about about Lando and how Lando's in love with her, <laughs> and 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 then he kind of confirms it 
later in the movie when he's when she's dying. Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert. And <laughs> and yeah, I do that by the way. I'll just like yell out spoilers in my podcast and then warn after. Yeah, warn afterwards. It's too late, guys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and and. Uh, and, and it kind of confirms it where he's like, bye, baby, you know? And then you're kind of like, wait a minute, was there something going on there? And yeah. I just no. loved it. Okay, I take it back. That movie was kind of cool. <laughs> there were a couple things, you know? Yeah. Like, I enjoyed it. I liked up the... Um, I, I, I think it know. was him that bothered me more than anything. Really? He just didn't look like... Okay, aside because... from his looks, though, he didn't try to be Harrison Ford, which I think sold it to me. Because right, he was... Right. That he was. Could, could it be, was his own yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Like I just, I yeah. Don I, Glover for me was really cool. Yes, because he had Billy Dee's uh, mannerisms and mm -hmm. and voice pattern. Yeah, there's even some scenes where if I wasn't looking, I was doing something else, and I hear him, and I'm like Billy Dee, and they're like, no, but it's him, because <laughs> he's just saying things like Billy Dee would say, and yeah, he's a great actor, so he's talented like crazy, so. It was really great to see him. Um, I'm just so glad you guys were able to come onto my show. Oh, we're happy to be here. We happy we were happy we came. I'm big fans awesome. of you guys and your cosplays, and I want to see more of them. <laughs> I want to get more, more pictures with you guys. I want to get more tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> All the nerdy stuff. Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely be I'm, at I'm going to get a Christmas tattoo this year, yeah. which That's I true. can't wait. It's my last tattoo of the year. And um, I'm going to say the spoiler alert first. It's going to be my first Spider-Man tattoo. Oh, there you go. For my, for my listeners, I'm going to get a Spider-Man tattoo. Pictures John Romita Sr. Spider-Sense, the whole deal. It's going to be so awesome, and I can't wait. <laughs> and Miss Roxy here is going to do it. And I can't wait. That's going to be great. And so, last but not least, I know we had a little bit of a shorter episode today, but I want to congratulate you on your upcoming nuptials. Like my nerdy wedding? Is that how I say it? Nuptials? Is it going to be a nerdy wedding? <laughs> it is It is sort of a nerdy wedding. You I know, am bad, so hoping on that. <laughs> bad bow tie, Batman cufflinks. Because you guys yeah. are the goals couple for uh. nerds. <laughs> And nerdy couples. Nerd goals couple. Like, you know, nerds will be able to pick out the nerdy details. Yes. And it'll Phenomenal. fly over other like, people's heads. Um, our first great. dance. Great. Our first dance is the Cantina song from Star Incognito Wars. nerdism. That's yes. what we want. It's peppered all the over. The parents just won't know. Yeah. <laughs> and the in-laws. I, I don't think they will, to be honest. Really? Like, uh, the... But I'm sure your you parents know. now, like my parent, like my mom, they no, just they expect just, it. Uh, I don't think they would look for it. I don't think they would expect it at a wedding, okay. you know, but like, you know, the groom will walk down the aisle to a Lord of the Rings song and our, yeah, our first dance yeah. is the Cantina song from Star Wars. Yeah. But yeah. like people won't know, but we know. Yeah, of course. And the nerds in, in attendance will know. It's just going to be like a big, uh, you know, like a big elbow, like <laughs> nudge awesome. or whatever. Yeah. Like, ha, ha, ha. It's just going to be a certain amount of like, like people in the stands that are going to be nudging each other just yes. the whole time. Yes. Just nudge, 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 nudge. It's like, was that the Imperial March? Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. it was. Right. <laughs> Beautiful. That's awesome. So congratulations. Thank you. Um, also, I want to say, this is sort of like, I guess, I don't know when it's going to come out, but Halloween is tomorrow. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys love Halloween. It's your favorite time of year. It yes. should be everybody's favorite time of year. I agree. <laughs> um... How are you guys celebrating the Halloween spirit this year? Uh, working. Dressing up. Alone at work. Uh, but dressing up. So, but I remember yeah. I was there at one point near Halloween, around Halloween. I think you came for... Uh, I was going to see a Suicide Squad movie that night, and I was dressed up as Harley. Yeah. I think so. Yes. But yeah, tomorrow... And that tomorrow, was really fun. Tomorrow... And I was like, does she just dress up like Harley Quinn for <laughs> It's like subtle, <laughs> subtle, uh, what is it, DC bounding? It's like Disney <clears throat> yeah. bounding, but DC, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a common thing, though. Like, if we're out for coffee, it's very yeah. often that you'll see you'll see us wearing the coordinating colors. That's just, yeah. Really? Walking around Montreal, and she's all in green, I'm all in red. No! And, like, 
What is this? That like, was sort a of scoop? a detail that I hope was happening, and yeah, it was like it I'm is. happy to know that it like, does. Spoiler like, alert! Big, big spoiler, spoiler alert! alert. <laughs> I'm going blonde after Christmas, so it's gonna be <gasps> live Harley all the time. So I'm super down. <laughs> oh wow! I've got to. I've got to. Then I just. I gotta come from where tattoos then. <laughs> Just give you more excuses to come and see me. Yeah. Or maybe I'll just have you guys back on here. I'm also down for that. Yeah. yeah. In all our uh, blonde and redhead glory. There you go. Yeah. She's going back to red, too. So, uh-huh. like, we're making, like, things a permanent reality. So you're just going to become these characters. Yes. That's the goal. A regular like, long-term basis. goal. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I'm really, really happy we did this, and um, I hope we get to do it again. Absolutely. Sure. Thank you so much for having um, us Just on. so people know, Priya, you have a Facebook page. Yes. What is it's it? Pyra Poison, and it's the same thing yeah. on Instagram, so that's P-Y-R-A Poison. Okay. Right. And Roxy? Uh, I have, a, like, a regular cosplay page and a tattoo page. Uh, right. My regular cosplay page is Miss Roxy Rocket, and yeah. uh, for the tattoos, it's Roxy Rocket Tattoos, Roxy Rocket on Facebook. And check out her tattoo page if you're in I the like... Montreal area <laughs> and you want to get a cool, cool-ass tattoo. I do Disney she, tattoos, nerdy she's tattoos. She's giving me, I have an X-Men tattoo, I have a Hulk and Wolverine tattoo, and I have a Joker tattoo, and they're phenomenal. <laughs> and you guys just got to... Gotta see it for yourself. Get inked up and get cool. And trust me, people love tattoos, especially your parents. They love love it. Whenever I come in the house with with the Hulk and Wolverine, it was so funny because I came in and my mom was kind of near the door, and she kind of looked around and she just looked at me, and she just rolled her eyes. Like, it had to be so big. Like, she's like, I, I didn't know it was going to be that big. The bigger, the better. So it's But decided. that's what you said when we did it. You uh-huh. were like, you know what? The bigger, the better. Go and big was, or go home. And I was just like, just just go nuts. I don't care. Next Mother's Day, next Father's Day. I am your Get easel. yourself a tattoo. Yes. <laughs> this was really fun, guys. Edge of the page. I'm Dave Michaels. Priya, Roxy. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Yeah.